Alaska is as big as two-thirds of the rest of the United States. A sport fisherman could spend decades traveling the state and never hit the same fishing hole twice. But if you don't have that long a vacation, one way to see the state is to take to the air with one of the many flight services at Anchorage's Lake Hood. Expert bush pilots like Craig Ketchum can take a fisherman over incredible amounts of country in just a few hours. Typically on our one day best fishing day, it's exactly that. It means we go wherever the best fishing is for that day. It may be down at a stream where there's red salmon or it may be pike fishing. One of the added bonuses to fly in fishing is flight seeing. You can't take a flight anywhere in Alaska without being impressed. And one of the most impressive sights is majestic Mount McKinley. But if the highest mountain in North America doesn't impress the sportsman, landing on a remote wilderness lake will. Dropping out of the sky in a fixed wing bird, you marvel at the calm assurance of experienced pilots like Craig, who can beach a two and a half ton float plane as easily as if it were a two foot hi. rowboat. I'm here. Oh, hi, Craig. <laughs> hey, see all the red salmon? But even in the middle of nature's yeah. isolated wonder, there are still the fundamentals yeah. to take care of, like lunch. Yeah. God, I tell you, they put a lot of junk in here. What are we going to do this afternoon? Well, I thought we'd pump up our rubber boats here and take the little boat motor and troll down here at the end of the lake where the stream exits and see if we can mm. find if there's any pike there. They're not great big fish, but they're um, they're really sort of a prehistoric fish. They live practically in any conditions, you know. I've seen pictures of those things. They're pretty ugly. That's here. I look a lot like your mother-in-law. <laughs> mother-in-law. <laughs> Unlike most in-laws, Craig found the pike scarce. Although most lakes and rivers in the North Country are known to be the best fishing areas in the world, the fish don't always cooperate. So sometimes the best strategy is to try a different lake. Even if an angler doesn't land a lunker on every cast, with a float plane, a sportsman is free to pack it up and take advantage of thousands of fishing hotspots. Within minutes, an angler can be back in the water with a fresh start at a totally different fishing hole. I almost busted my glasses, the dang thing. Can it break? How many pound tests do you have on here? We're trying to be sportsmen. There's only about eight pound test on here. Hey, now look. I don't want to be a sportsman. I want industrial fishing here. I want industrial 30 pound test on here for a 10 pound fish. How long have you been fishing? Uh, about 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of times this happens. Uh, you'll have two fishermen, three fishermen, and everyone will have a fish on all at once. And uh, that's when it's really fun. Hey, we got a double header here. Two of us. Hey. Yeah. I thought you said you weren't strong enough to bring another one in. Is he getting weak? Is he getting tired? Weakening. I'm getting weak. <laughs> Newcomers to the sport sometimes find inventive ways to handle the rod and reel. He's tiring. So am I. Almost. So am I. <laughs> Almost as fast as you are. Got, don't lose that fish. Oh this my. is a good fish here. Come to the this salmon-shaped torpedo packs a wallop that first-time anglers can't help but be impressed with. Look at that. This is a crazy one. Big male there, I think, isn't it? Not time to net him, huh? Yeah. Okay. Hope he doesn't get away. Oh, he's too big. Remember, Craig, two hands for beginners. Got him. He was almost too big for that. Oh, look at that, the line broke just in time. <laughs> Craig likes to give a novice angler a chance to meet their combatant face to fin. Hey, That's what that you call guy. a sockeye. Yeah. Well, that was huge. Tear your arm off? <laughs> you just hold him there, hold him into the water there, I think, for a while. 
Late in the fishing season, anglers usually release their sockeye catches. There he goes. Very nice. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Meanwhile, the second feature is heating up. This outdoorsman still has a handful at the end of his straining line. He's still, he's still pulling on me. Craig? This yes. about ready. Why don't you come over and do my dirty work for me and net this one, huh? <laughs> Here I come. I catch him, you net him. Okay. That's a good one. There he is. There he is. Ready? Right there. Yep. Yep. Underneath you bring here. Come on, come oh, on, baby. Hey. Nearing the end of its spawning season, the sockeye turns a bright red, frequently even a spectacular, brilliant crimson, while their heads remain a dark green. The males also develop a humped back and a sharply hooked nose. Well, probably just a, a seal bite or a scar or something. They'll never forget the day they came to Alaska and caught each head of fish on the same time and had never fished before in their lives. You know what I'll remember more than that, Craig? It's just the experience of being with you. <laughs> being with friends, experiencing the awesome beauty of Alaska's wilderness, and catching your first fish. All in all, not a bad day.